What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Trust News video and Liverpool are preparing a big offer for Ryan Gravenberg. He ticks every box in Jurgen Klopp's uh, recommendation of what a midfielder should look like and what a midfielder should do in Liverpool's system and apparently he's very keen on a Liverpool transfer move. He would love to play for Liverpool and he was already photographed in a Liverpool shirt before and Liverpool are determined to test Bayern Munich's this resolve for Ryan Gravenberg. Of course we already spoke with his father, one of Liverpool's representatives flew to the Netherlands to speak with Ryan Gravenberg's father and he's very keen to start fresh and leave this Bayern Munich nightmare for Gravenberg. It was a nightmare because he only started one Bundesliga game and he's not a regular and uh, we can't really blame him. He's just 20 years old. He's still improving and developing and learning his game and there are world-class midfielders in front of Gravenberg. Joshua Kimmich, Leon Goretzka, Musiala, Thomas Müller, four players who are all much further in their career so I don't think that's an indication of how good Gravenbeck is or how good he could become that he's not starting regularly for Bayern Munich because not many midfielders would get in in this my Bayern Munich midfield ahead of those four players that I just mentioned and Gravenbeck had long been admired by Liverpool we have been scouting him even when he was playing for Ajax and Gravenbeck wants to play more often and wants to start more often and I think he would uh, be a regular player not necessarily always starting for Liverpool but he would play a lot more than what he is playing for Bayern Munich this season and sources close to Liverpool FC have described Gravenbeck as the right age the right profile and the right standard with big potential as well and this is the, exactly the kind of midfielder that they are looking for and apparently Bayern Munich are willing to sanction a deal of 25 million pounds for Ryan Gravenbeck's sale. The big question is will Thomas Tuchel let him leave uh, Liverpool, uh, let him leave Bayern Munich and go to Liverpool this summer or do they still want to give him another chance to develop at Bayern Munich and according to Sky Sports Gravenbeck is very enthusiastic over, over a potential move to Liverpool. He already, uh, he already liked an Instagram post which said that uh, Jurgen Klopp could unlock the potential of Ryan Gravenbeck this summer and Liverpool have reportedly made a strong pitch to Ryan Gravenbeck ahead of a potential summer move. Gravenbeck just signed for Ajax, from Ajax last summer for just 18 million euros. That's around 15 million pounds. So if Liverpool get him for 25 million, Bayern Munich still get a nice profit. They almost double their money for Gravenbeck. And Eric Ten Hag, uh, who was previously his uh, manager at Ajax, he said that he has a lot of capabilities, especially in an attacking sense, but he understands hard work. So guys, if you are excited about this news that Liverpool are about to bid for Ryan Gravenbeck, leave a like on this video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. We already got it on yesterday's video, so let's try again and subscribe if you are new around here. And let me know what is your score prediction for the Liverpool Liverpool, Nottingham Forest game today. I'm really looking forward to watching the game and of course after the game check in on my channel where I will upload my post-match reaction and analysis video. But Gravenbeck will need to be one of a three midfielders that Liverpool sign. I would be happy with McAllister, Caicedo, Declan Rice, uh, you know, Gravenbeck, uh, Mateus Nunez. There are a lot of options and we need to sign three of those five. That, we men that I mentioned and Mason Mount of course I almost forgot about him and we have been linked with uh, Nice's uh, player Kefren Turam I will make a video about him and uh, detailed analysis about how he plays probably tomorrow so Liverpool are linked with a lot of very promising very young talented midfielders which is exactly what I want to see Jurgen Klopp and the recruitment team needs to identify which player suits Liverpool's specific playing style and Paul Joyce also updated us on Bobby Firmino sadly he picked up a muscle injury so he will be unavailable for the Nottingham Forest game and he might miss the next few games as well and we absolutely have to beat Nottingham Forest at Anfield they are one of the worst teams away from home in the Premier League and Liverpool are one of the best teams 
at home and uh, we are in five four, fine form after putting six past Leeds United and I expect another high scoring affair, hopefully Liverpool can score two, three, four goals against Nottingham Forest and just win the game comfortably because Newcastle play Tottenham and also uh, Brentford play Aston Villa I think and Liverpool have West Ham and uh, Tottenham coming up so two very very tough games for Liverpool coming up and the Turkish news outlet is reporting that Roberto Firmino has reportedly agreed a deal in principle to join Galatasaray in the summer the Turkish giants the Turkish big clubs absolutely love signing ex Premier League players just look up the squad of Galatasaray Besiktas or Fenerbahce or even the smaller Turkish clubs they are full of ex Premier League players so this uh, would be in line of uh, you know that tradition that Bobby Firmino goes to Galatasaray but I think it feels a level below him I would I would be I think uh, more enthusiastic if he went to a, a club like uh, Real Sociedad or Real Betis uh, or Sevilla or somebody like that in Spain or maybe even Atletico Madrid I think that would be his level or in Italy if he would go to AC Milan or Inter Milan that would feel his level he still deserves to play Champions League football yes Galatasaray could play Champions League football but Tur the Tur Turkish league is not as strong as uh, the Bundesliga or the Serie A or the F Spanish league, of course, obviously. But if that's if uh, Firmino gets a really, really good offer from Galatasaray, then good luck to him if that's what he chooses to do next in his career. I think AS Roma would be perfect for him um, as a false nine or a number nine in Rome. He would be absolutely brilliant and they already have Gini Vinadum, the ex-Liverpool player as well. And Leighton Stewart said about Firmino, he has changed the way a Liverpool number 9 plays. And that's something every young striker has to be aware of now. It's not just about the glory, it's not just about scoring goals. You have to do the other side of the game. He has been the best in the business at it for years. And that's really, really high praise for Bobby Firmino because there has been some legendary number nines at Liverpool but Bobby Firmino is definitely up there and what Firmino did like no other striker did is the the amount of high pressing and counter pressing Firmino does and did for Liverpool it it really changed the, the way a number nine functions in Liverpool and it really changed the way um, the false nine is looked at in football in my opinion and also it, it allowed our inverted wingers Sadio Mane and Mo Salah or now you know, Darwin Nunez or Luis Diaz or Jota or whoever plays on the left wing and Salah on the right wing. He has been constant, by the way. And Firmino picking up another injury just shows how incredible Salah is that he almost never gets injured. And the counter-pressing with Bobby Firmino became far more effective and it became one of the biggest weapons in Liverpool's arsenal. And in my opinion, Firmino is a proper legend of Liverpool. He might not have the goal scoring ratio of Bobby, of uh, Mo Salah or even Sadio Mane, the, but the um, impact that Bobby Firmino had on this Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp era can't be understated. And I think his legendary status, uh, nothing shows it more, even when he's on the bench. The C si Senor song is sung by, Enf by the cop by Anfield. Even when he's not playing, even when he's not in the team, even when he's not on the bench, his song is sing sung by the Liverpool fans. And that just shows that his legacy, his legendary status is, is, status is cemented among Liverpool fans. And I really hope that Bobby Firmino can be fit again for the last few games of the season because I think the last game of the season is at Anfield against Southampton and hopefully Bobby Firmino will get a run out either as a starter or as a substitute and hopefully he will get a standing ovation and his song will be sung by the Liverpool fans at the, in the cup and at the, at the whole Anfield stadium and that would be a fitting standoff for Bobby Firmino and he has won seven trophies with Liverpool he has won every single trophy that is possible to win at Liverpool so that's absolutely magnificent and that's a fitting way to end today's video let me know what is your score prediction for the Liverpool Nottingham Forest game I'm really looking forward to the game and Liverpool can start climbing the table if we can put a winning run together we need to beat West Ham after Nottingham Forest 
as well. And then the Tottenham game will be absolutely massive. Tottenham are a big contender for the top four. So come on Liverpool, let's beat Forest and let's get a, a really good winning momentum and goal scoring momentum. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice weekend, see you later, goodbye.